Hey friends, how's it going? Hey Christian. Hello Jose. Hello. Ooh, peace. Good weekend, team everyone. Happy weekend, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hey Ivers. Oh friends. All right. So today we are going to be testing out video. I downloaded some like, have you guys played with AI videos before? Just out of curiosity. Have you tried it out before? Your mic is off. Hmm. It looks like it's fine. It indicates that it's fine. Is my mic, is my mic working? No, yes, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. It's not working, really? Hmm, interesting. Huh, it does show that it's completely fine. Mic is working? Okay. How'd you guys get access to Pika? I haven't been able to get Pika for, it's like, I'm still on the wait list. Yeah, I, I was kind of disappointed. I was really hoping that I would be able to get it before this live stream, but alas, I have not. Is it good? Is it better than Runway, you think? Hmm. I mean, I can just boost up the gain. Boosted up the gain. Okay, cool. Is that better? Just got access yesterday. Really? Because I got... I've tried... Yeah, let me like check. I'm pretty sure I still don't have access. And I signed up like a while back. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it better than Runway? If you guys have tried that. Let me just double check that I still don't have access. Nope. Sad. Still don't have any access. Mm. See. Nope. Dang. Well, if somebody let me know how it is that, um, wait, now I'm just like, wait, Pika, am I still on the wait list? I am. Sorry, I'm just like double checking because I wasn't, I'm pretty sure I was still, yeah, I still, dang it. Okay, well, anyways, hopefully at some point it will work out. Um, but yeah, let me see. Is there any comments? If anybody says that, just send you a Discord invite. Oh, can you do that? Wait, let me see. Can you do that? Like, just go on Discord and you can just send me an invite. Oh, let me see if I can. Which, who are you? <laughs> There's like a bunch of people. Um, Deja, do you have a different username? Okay. Well, in any case, why don't we just get started and fingers crossed that we managed to use Pika as well. okay so let's first try out um let's first try out okay let me share my screen should have this
feel like I'm such a mess today. You ever feel like there's just some days where you're like not able to figure things out? <laughs> it's like me today. Well, you did not need to see that. That is not the correct thing. Why is it even showing that? Let's close that. Let's close this too. What the hell is happening? What is happening? In the meantime, please entertain each other. Yeah, it keeps showing that. You don't need to. I mean, you can look at it if you know, maybe you should look at that. <laughs> it's actually not. It's, um, I was going somewhere to meet up people yesterday. So, um, well, let's see. Why is it not working? Nothing seems to be working today. You know what? Give me one moment. Let me like get my shit together. Um, okay. I think that should be good now. Okay, cool. Ah, sorry about that. That was a lot more difficult today for some reason. Um, all right. So I was going to start off with um you must be using a fruit company computer what <laughs> pika is like this really this like new hyped up uh video generation thing that i was hoping to get access to as well um yeah so yeah i wanted to test out like a few of these have you guys heard about runway before so runway they recently come up with this gen 2 so they used to have gen 1 there's a few things that you can do on the sidebar um you can generate images so you can generate images um sorry you can generate videos okay you can also generate images but you can generate videos um and you can also use it to edit videos as well and generate audio too so i figured that we can try both like generate video using text image or both so we can use like text so I want to say like, actually, you know what? Let's start off with an image. So I have like a few images that I saved here. Let me know if you guys want to see any different ones. But I have one of Rockley, which we'll upload here. Um, your video is cute. So it's going to be one minute to do so. Uh, I'll show you guys the motion brush as well while we're doing that. We can try to like see like animate. You can use like this little thing. I want to call it this um, to like generate where it is that you want to have the animation. So say like right now we want to have the animation on the legs. So we'll see how that goes. You can just like mark where it is that you want it to do it. And then you can also do different things with the horizontal and vertical axes. So let's say like we want horizontal like that. And then on the vertical side, let's do this as well. We can also zoom in for the proximity. So as it's kind of like coming back at us. So let's save that. And then we can generate that as well. So. Let's wait a little bit to see what it comes up with. So here we have like a, ooh, okay, it's here. So here we just have one that is just generating video by itself. And then the other one we have just trying to animate the legs and see what happens. I've, I have actually not tried that. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that was not great. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, hopefully the one with the legs will be better. I did do one like with myself in animating my hair, which turned out pretty decent. But <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, that's scary. <laughs> Let us see. Comments. Bruh. 
a hair raising experience. Which program are you using for video generation? Um, if you guys want to try it out as well. So you actually get a lot of credits for free. It's called Runway. So let me just share that with everybody. I'll also link everything afterwards in the descriptions. Um, but you can try this one out. I'm like, well, that was a fail. Um, it's not great, but funny at least. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, what is this one going to look like? Oh my god, I'm like scared. Wait, it didn't do anything. Oh, okay, it had like a little minuscule. Oh, okay, it has like a little minuscule movement in the legs. Say like we send it by four seconds. What would happen? Okay, I want to show you one that I have done, um, which does work quite decently so I'm gonna show you guys one that does work let's see so this one of me I refresh it so I had like a little like movement but you know not that great um but we'll try like this this one, I was able to get it to work. So for the motion brush here, I was trying to animate was my hair. Oh shit, that was my eye. <laughs> you can just see like my eye becoming really weird. So you can, I'm just animating the hair. So it looks like this is the only part that I will try to animate. Okay, cool. Um, so horizontal is gonna be a little bit of horizontal. And then you can also um, do camera motions. So you can do like roll over and like pan over something like that. So yeah, that's, I'm just gonna try this out. Fingers crossed it actually works this time. Any suggestions for the text input by the way? You're doing already better than Zuck. Similar result by Pika. If there's a human character, sometimes the effect is scary with the character's eyeball rolling crazy or something like that. Yeah, like for human characters, it is a little bit more challenging. So I also have like some other pictures that we can try out. <laughs> Maybe that will work. Um, yeah, in the meantime, let's try another one. So I have one of Ditto. The Pokemon, that is. So we can try this out. I guess like, do I really need to? Eh, I'll just kind of do this. Um, eh, just get all of that because it's. I don't. I don't actually know if I need to do this. I okay. I have a feeling that the mouth is gonna do something really weird. So I'm actually gonna erase the mouth part. Like this part, I'm gonna erase. <laughs> it doesn't do something really weird. Um, we can do like horizontal. I think we can do like vertical, so it kind of like goes downwards. And you can do a zoom, and then um, here as well. Let's do like a roll and a pan. So let's generate this one. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna work. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh my god! Wait, it actually I. The one that I generally before didn't like. This is actually pretty decent, okay? All right, this is, what do you guys think? Relatively decent? It's like the hair and the eye animation. My brain is too underdeveloped for this. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, thank you, my beautiful shiny hair. Does ChatGPT also can be used to do this? It doesn't do image, uh, it doesn't do video generation now, but it does do image generation. That's pretty cool, right? Like, I think it's pretty cool. Um, we'll do like one, let's look at Ditto. Tina is winky. Is it both? Oh yeah, it's like one of my eyes. <laughs> okay, um, we can do some like text-based ones I, and it's usually a lot better at text-based ones, but this is kind of like really interesting. Um, I can totally see a lot of like animation based stuff and I'll show you guys a little bit later some of the new things that are coming out which is not necessarily available now but what people are working on the results they have this space is just evolving so quickly right now 
and seeing like full animation like ai generated videos um like movies and stuff i can totally see something like this happening very very soon yeah i would not be surprised to see this uh, i try to use it with just text and my image just disappeared wait i can share with you guys some of these images if you like okay let's look at the ditto oh my god i look i feel scared <laughs> oh no <laughs> what the fuck happened wait <laughs> <laughs> just do the wait i thought that i i i thought that it's supposed to animate things except for the mouth but it fucked up and animated only the mouth <laughs> oh no okay last one and then we're gonna do text-based stuff okay like this is scary <laughs> Um, can you create a video just by touch? Try something controversial. For I'm gonna, I'm this stream's gonna get taken down if I do that. <laughs> you can though. You actually can. I think. I don't see why it wouldn't let you do that. Imagine doing non uh, stop motion like video with ChatGPT, where you just tell it to move a hand bit by bit. Well, if you if you think about images, like a video is just a series of images, right? So if it's able to generate consistent images of things and then you just like stick them all together that would be able to create animation one of the issues that um ai video generation faces now is that if you try to generate a bunch of different videos the face of the person is not consistent so that's kind of the issue that it faces right now but i do um there are like people who are working on that oh my god this looks so creepy as well i'm like scared <laughs> i'm so scared Okay, this is not as bad. This was okay, right? It's a bit slimy looking, but this one's okay. Okay, let's do some like text-based stuff. Um, let's say clownfish swimming in the ocean. Oh, wait, or say like clownfish. Yeah, let's start with something easy. Um, you can also add style. So we can do, I want to do anime style. Let's do anime style. Okay. Generate. Yeah, I think this one's not too bad. <laughs> oh no, what happened? It died on me. Okay, cool. Um, why is it not moving? Are you guys able to see the new image? Why am I having so many technical difficulties today? Can you even see the ditto image? Today is not a good day. What happened to, oh, you guys can't even see the ditto. Oh no, what is happening? I don't know. It's like today is a really weird one. Okay, let me try again. Um, let's just try changing it around. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here's the, the ditto stuff today Damn. what is happening technical difficulties my friends something always happens um yeah that's the ditto image it's not that bad right i feel like it's not that bad this one is is fucking scary look at that <laughs> it's like so scary <laughs> But this one is okay, I think. I hope you guys are able to see that now. Yay! You're scared my your shares. Okay, I think I think it works now. Can you create a video with Tina having something controversial? Please don't. Please don't do that. Please. <laughs> I have seen people do that with other people though, which is very concerning. Um, right? <laughs> it's just like breathing. <laughs> this is the 
thing of nightmares. Okay, so for this one, I wrote clownfish swimming in the ocean. Um, that clownfish looks. That clownfish kind of looks terrifying. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's not terrible. It's a little bit horrifying the way that the clownfish looks, but why don't we say clownfish, um, octopus hiding in a reef? Let's try this one. Put in the comments, please. What what should I try? Let me know what I should try. They don't use this acid. <laughs> Realistic. I Ewoks slowly roasting. What is an Ewoks? I must check. Is that a bird? Sentient. Oh, oh, it's from Star Star Wars. Okay, I've actually never watched Star Wars before. Terrifying. Us. Uh, okay, that Ewoks slowly roasting over an open fire. That sounds terrifying. Maybe a sloth in a scuba. Maybe a sloth in a scuba suit. Let's do that. Oh, I like that as well. Dinosaur baking cookies. Okay, let's try those. Let's try a few of these. So a sloth. What is the sloth supposed to do in the in a scuba suit? I think it needs to have like an action. Like maybe like walking around in a scuba in a scuba suit. We could do that. Okay. A sloth in a scuba suit walking around. Or like swimming around we're ocean themed today let's try something that's not anime digital art let's do that generate okay let's do another one as well <laughs> be hysterical um Dinosaurs baking cookies. I like this one a lot too. Let's try one more here and then we'll move on to our next next tool. Okay, octopus. Let's see how it does. Okay. I think that's fine. It's not particularly hiding in a reef, but it's amongst the reef. So that's fair. Yeah. Okay, what what would you guys rate this? Like one one to five in terms of how good it is. I guess maybe we need to do another comparison as well. I think for me, I am impressed. Like it's clearly not working that well, but I am impressed that it's able to do any of it. Because oftentimes with new technologies, um, it's really like the first time that you do something is the really hard part. And then you just kind of optimize on top of that. So let's do this. Let's let it do its thing a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I wanted to show you guys some of the new ones that don't have code yet. Oh, okay, I'll show you this one a bit too. They don't have code yet. But for example, they have this one called Animate Anyone, Consistent and Controllable Image to Video Synthesis for Character Animation. That is pretty cool, right? That is able to do that. Um, they also have a video explaining how all of this works. So if you're interested, I'll also link it in the description after the video. And um, yeah, I'll email you. If you sign up for the AI newsletter, um, which is an email a week, I'll also email you some of the resources too. So it's like this idea of you're taking a reference image and then you're giving a pose to do and then you're able to animate the video. That is pretty impressive. So I'm interested to see this actually come out. There is nothing like you can't actually play around with it yet. Um, but I'm very, this is like a lot better. Humanoid. And then fashion video synthesis as well. You can take a person and just have it dress as different people. Uh, with not different people you can have a single person and then you can dress it in different outfits this one is also pretty cool 
yeah it's like dance based stuff um you'll notice a lot of these new kind of research they're chinese based so institute for Tech intelligent computing this one is by alibaba um a lot of them this ai video generation is from china hello world oh thank you i appreciate it man gambler thank you for supporting the channel can it generate transparent video the one from runway cannot at this point no I can't wait till we can remake movies with actors we want and changes we want them. So Meta did recently, um, maybe like a Meta a month back, it released this thing where it shows you like, you can have like AI influencers that are able to do like slight movements and things like that, which is kind of interesting. So you can do certain things right now. It's not perfect, but I definitely can see that happening. Okay, let's check back on our little ooh, our sloth okay it's not super interesting but it is a decent image and movement and then dinosaur baking cookies oh this is cute <laughs> okay i like this one it's like little arms moving Yeah, this is cute. This is a really, I, th I think this one's pretty good. Is it making, oh, although I don't think it's making cookies. That looks like fried chicken. <laughs> that looks like some stew and fried chicken is what it looks like to me. Interesting. Oh, I like the animation in the back. Okay, this one is probably the best one I've seen so far. Okay. Let's move on to another one. So this is um, called Stable Video Diffusion. So it's by this, like, you can try it out using GitHub and then they do have like a hugging face um, that you can try out as well. So we can try to do one of these. It does take a little bit longer, which is why I already tried it ahead of time. Um, a Stable Diffusion one, Stable Video Diffusion. So this is the reference image that I gave it. Um, and this is what it did. I feel like it's still the face, right? In terms of a lot of the other parts, it's actually not that bad. It's like the face and the hands. That is difficult. There are these memes, though. I would say like runway. Would, would you say like they're about pretty similar? Um, There are like these memes, like this one is pretty good. Yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of time to do. As it's queuing. The face goes to blur. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's it's kind of like, it's the face and the hands. I think people is hard. Like the dinosaurs is is good, is, is pretty decent. Cookies doesn't look that cookie-ish. <laughs> Meta also released beta version eyeglasses with AI in them. They are cool. Ooh, I heard that for Oculus. Uh, I actually did work at Oculus previously, but I did hear that they were able to put in the Oculus. It's more like AR-based now as opposed to VR-based. Looks like the dancing demos are more often girls than octopi. <laughs> yes, I do believe so. Sunset ignition horizon, warm hues, shimmering sea. I like this one. Let's try that one. Try to text face hugger on a dinosaur. It's really good considering it's a free test app. It's free. Yeah, yeah, all of these are free. Uh, Runway gives you a lot of credits. So technically, you, there's a paid tier, but it's not necessary at all. Like there's a lot of, um, they give you a lot of credits. And these are, these are all completely free. It's kind of like the demo versions that they released. Just like I would expect AI to be, studio tools are expensive and resource heavy to make perfect fake glasses, my guess. Give me one second, my doorbell just rang. Let's see if this comes up. BRB.
I am back. Ray is good. <laughs> yeah, let me give you the links for these as well. Um, so I gave you the one for runway. Let me give you the link for this one. The Steve. Oops. Okay. This one. I did, in fact, just walk out midstream. I did. Hey, Tina, you heard about AI music? I have, I have. So I, in my Gemini versus GPT-4 versus GPT-3.5 one, I did um, test out the one with music, which is actually decent. I feel like if I were to do a ranking, like chatbot stuff is the best, like text-based stuff is the best, then music, and then, okay, chatbot stuff, um, music slash images not sure which one is better at this point something like i think music slash images and then video like video is kind of like the next this the next big thing yeah i, I think video is a hundred percent the next big thing that's happening very very interested in how that's going to turn out just by the speed of how these tools are coming out and the amount of improvement that's happening though oh my god um i feel like by mid next year we're, we're going to be able to generate like full on animation based videos. That would be my guess. So definitely important to keep up with everything that's happening in the AI world. A lot of things are happening all the time. Okay, let's see if it was able to generate something. No, it was not. Why it be slow? Okay, well, you can test it out if you like. Um, it is kind of slow right now, but they do have like demo versions. So it's pretty cool. It's completely free, so can't have that much can't do that much um expectations can't have that much expectations right okay yeah so this is the one i showed you where it's able to animate characters if you click on the code base um there's nothing it's just docs with nothing in it yeah so i'm going to check back maybe a little bit later to see if there's something that we can try out later um animate anyone so yeah, this is animate anyone. Oh yeah, this, oh my God, <laughs> this is nudity. <laughs> I haven't checked out this before. We're gonna change this one. That was nudity, oh my God. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try like with an actual auto. <laughs> this one is called magic anime. <laughs> the fuck i swear there was no nudity in the reference photo oh my god <laughs> this is called magic anime uh, temporally consistent human human image animation using diffusion model so it's able <laughs> it's able to um animate so this is like another model that they have you would upload a reference image and then for it to do something like running and it's able to animate say like the mona lisa that's running here <laughs> maybe we'll try like one of these as well so this person running too which is pretty decent right but wait, i'm gonna try with another image and hope that it's better because i wanted to try with something myself <laughs> i'm gonna go look at the comments <laughs> Lord da Vinci's crying <laughs> Has it been revealed that Tina has been AI generated this whole time? Could be, could be. Sad lost opportunity could make you laugh as well as demo the technology. What? What is it? Code imagine. What did you say? That is going to be interesting. It really slowly tried myself. Um, what? <laughs> We're not going to talk about this. All right, moving on. What do you do for fun? Apparently create AI images of people and myself. <laughs> Can you make video on how people in college should approach this video without making money? With making money to buy a MacBook? That's very specific. After college or doing college? Um, I feel like I have quite a lot of career-based videos. A lot of it is just experimenting and then getting a lot of internships. That's how I would say is the best way of approaching this. Um, it really is if you just experiment like if you go to college and go to professors and ask for internships usually they convert to being paid i think that's the easiest way that's what i did at least don't look at the comments <laughs> face hugger on a dinosaur 
what does that mean is that bad is face hugger on a dinosaur that sounds like it's bad people stuff I'm like <sighs> suspicious <laughs> majority auto checks and hides even mildly uncover results behind the notice <laughs> what's the link to this hugging face face okay yeah let me um <laughs> let, me, let me give that to you as well there you go um yeah the ones that they do have is pretty good i am going to try to upload an image maybe an image of not myself oh my god dear <laughs> um why don't we animate an image of link click this is one of my favorite this is one of my favorite animes Uh, oh no, error. Why? Try again. A running motion, and then we'll try again with the guy from Link Click. His name is Cheng Xiaoshi. Oh no, that didn't work. Drop the image here. There. Okay, maybe this time it will work. Nope, I guess we're just getting error messages today. Well, that was sad. Um, But yeah. At least the ones that they showcase seem like it was pretty good. It does seem like it is cherry picked though. Why is it? I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe it's the image. Let me try another image. Okay, let me try the one running. I guess I'm just getting errors now. Damn. Okay, well, there's another one that you can try out. Um, this is an interesting one called Story to Motion Synthesizing Infinite and Controllable Character Animation from Long Text. Again, very interesting. A lot of these like seem to be Chinese um stuff. So I think Chinese is very much leading the AI video scene. Um, story to motion is a new task that takes a story, top green area, generates motion and trajectories that align with the text description, which is really cool. So essentially you're able to take a task um, and tell it to do something which would relate. So here we have dancing in front of a modest building, dancing around trees, eating hot dog from a food cart. They do have a video demo of this. So let's watch that. The prompt that they have. ChatGPT generates the prompt. That's pretty cool. Duration 7.5 seconds of dancing amongst the trees. Walking towards the food cart. Eating hot dogs. Goes to the puddle. Jumping over the puddle. <laughs> oh, careful. Yeah. If there was, this was for real, I would be... If this was, like, actual... Wait, are you guys able to see that? Okay, yeah, you were. If this was... <laughs> if this is actually possible, that's really cool. I can totally see being able to... Maybe, like, NPCs... Like NPCs in video games, I could totally see that. Um, that people are, yeah, NPCs in video games and just generating characters doing stuff in video games and stuff. 
damn that's pretty impressive isn't it that's like if it's for real and augmented reality i can totally see that as well like people just walking around you like fake people just walking around you doing things this is scary how good it is artists yeah if it actually works i'm very excited to see if this actually works out but do you guys see what i mean like even though it's not super great right now the speed of how things are progressing it's it's really crazy what could what could come out of it um yeah damn oh yeah the screen is a little bit yeah this is just like so crazy hot dogs are bad for AI. artists made a plaster figure and blowed blowed in its nose try to put a one piece character in one of the animations to see how the limits can stretch where some famous anime so i tried to do that one it gave me an error so we'll try again a little bit later maybe it'll work then i'm not impressed still why are you not impressed why are you not impressed it's not impressive tina you should do more squats yeah you're probably right i should do more squats behind it yep it is op oh wait it's closed source it it's on github like i'm assuming it will be open source at some point and they would have like a hugging face space but there's currently no code so i don't know if it's going to be open source but why would you have something and not oh i guess i guess they could just be hiding the model i'm not sure if it's going to be open source or not um we shall see but right now you can use all of these things do you plan on making your own AI products at all? What kind of AI products? Code, I'm trying to animate a goose with a butter knife and it's giving me errors. I'm never impressed. I'm the negative Betty of the channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can we do to impress you? We want to see AI Tina. Yeah, I want to see AI Tina too. Like maybe AI Tina can do all the things, can do all the things that normal Tina. Tina's not playing nice with my suggestions. What what's what's your suggestions? I'm sorry, I must have missed. I when I'm reading through the comments, I kind of miss miss things as well. Um, you wrote, wouldn't it be a riot if the AI made a face hugger attack? You want to do a face hugger? Okay, alien movie. Okay, okay. All right. I promise we'll do that. I promise I'll do that after I show you guys one more thing that I think is very interesting. Um, or like two more things that are very interesting. So this is, again, another one, short to long-form video diffusion model of generative transition and prediction. It's very, again, Chinese-based, Shanghai Artificial Intelligence Lab, East China Normal University, Shanghai Jiao Tong, um, Monash University, I don't know if that's Chinese, Nanyang Technology. Work done during internship at Shanghai. That's pretty cool. So work done is during internship at Shanghai AI Laboratory. I think they do have a paper. So they do have these papers, which you can check out um but again i don't believe there's any oh wait this one does have code oh, okay cool is the official implementation stable diffusion is there like a is there like a space that we can do it okay let's move on and then we can see if we can manage to get this to work but apparently what it's able to do is much better animation than what we see on runway. Input image, output image, water. Output image is able to combine them together and make something. So you can produce a Spider-Man and then something else to do that as well. So yeah that's another one so i did want to show you some you know how like it's i would say like it's a bit finicky right i would say usually things are a bit finicky um when you're looking at video stuff but there's some people who are really good at doing this so for example this one um somebody actually managed to make you should definitely check twitter or x um if you're interested in ai stuff and just ai videos and things like that in terms of progress following these people is generally they are able to come up with really cool things that you might not be able to do yourself so maybe making it into a cartoon that's pretty cool that's really 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 cool um another one is this one so you can look at these that are here you're able to take different outfits and then just put different outfits in front of people if you just go on x and just write ai video 
like video AI creator and these things, you will, yeah, you'll be able to see a lot of like cool things that people are doing using AI video. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys um, is called motion. So this one, I'm definitely, it's on Discord. It's kind of like mid journey still. But what you can do is you can take um, something here and then you can say like motion. You can give it a prompt like climbing tree. You can choose from different characters. For example, we can choose like a cat and in place here. This is also completely free, by the way. All of this is free. So it's just generating something here. So as we wait, we shall see. AI Tina coming soon. I'll be the first one to jump on AI Tina. Definitely. First one to jump on it. I don't know if I should feel scared being too happy of how fast we're getting. How do you guys feel? I mean, just honestly speaking, how do you guys feel at about how quickly everything is progressing? Just a few months ago, we were all like marveling over AI generated images, right? And then the next big thing now is AI generated videos. Everything happening so quickly. How do you feel about all of that? Like, are you excited? Are you slightly concerned? Very concerned? Looking forward to it? Not looking forward to it? If AI Tina could host Lunch and Learns at some point, that would be very cool. Like stream if you want AI Tina to rise up. Oh, yes, please do like the stream. <laughs> Soon in future, I'm not impressed with mankind. <laughs> Cypher, I had to read that. Van Gambler, AI Tina's hosting the Lunch and Learn in the top corner is the most impressive AI I have seen. Same. Same. I love it, but I studied AI. Okay. 70% 70, 70 concerned. Cypher, wondering how long before we start making friends with AI. Ooh, have you guys heard about the chatbots um, that people that people have been getting like emotionally attached to? Have you seen the movie Her? Um, it's it's definitely a thing now. Like people who are talking to chatbots, getting like emotionally attached to them and things like that. So also, I actually was thinking if I should do a video about this in China. The uh, like the application of ai is a lot more widespread than it is here like ai influencers is very common now AI influencers just being able to sell products and things like that it's actually quite common these days um a lot of things are ai generated now um ai videos being there yeah so i would say in china the progression is not necessarily faster than it is in the u.s but I do anticipate that it would become faster and at least the application of it will be faster than it is in, in North America. You, you just generally see that overall. Like in China, you don't use physical money anymore. In China, everything is like pretty centralized. And the reason for this, I think, is just because here it's slower to get you know, because democracy, <laughs> but there, you know, somebody makes a decision that, oh, like we're going to use all of this now. And it's so centralized that the dissemination of it is really, really quickly. And I feel like Chinese people are generally also more accepting of these new technologies and uh, compared to people in the US, for example, that's how I see things. I actually will be going back to Beijing soon. So I was thinking if I should do like some videos about this, like for example, self-driving cars, it's been in China for a very long time now. You can see them on the streets all the time. Uh, robotics and stuff you can see them everywhere too i'm a mix of emotions lately about it i haven't seen her but i believe in it yeah it's it's like this guy who falls in love when an ai tina what would you do if you knew you were going to lose your job and wanted to start a career in ai what kind of skills would you develop this is a really good question i actually want to talk about this with i personally i'm very excited but i'm also kind of afraid in, in several different ways, right? From like a selfish personal perspective, I'm like, oh my God, there's AI videos that are gonna be coming out. What's the point of having people doing my job by creating content, right? Um, but at the same time, I also see like so much that can be done using these technologies. So I'm pretty like confused in that part. Um, but yeah, that's like a selfish one. And then the other concern 
that I do have is everything is being done so quickly and policy is 100% not keeping up with this. It feels very, very concerning. Um, we're very much, I would say like there's a lot of similarities now with the Cold War. I mean, I wasn't alive during the Cold War, but it seems like that. You know, when you get big powers clashing with each other, trying to compete against each other, companies competing with each other and getting more and more things that are coming out and regulation I mean, they managed to not have a nuclear fight, so war, so, you know, thank God for that. But I don't know about about this anymore. Um, yeah, like, I am pretty concerned about these. Like, with that being said, though, I rather ironically, the only way that you can deal with this kind of thing is to invest in learning about AI. It really is. Like, that's the conclusion that I came to, is the conclusion that at least from other people, it's the only one that people came to. Because if you want to have a say for how these things are going to be developed, you need to learn about them and have your voice heard. Because people are not going to stop developing these technologies. Like, no matter what, they're going to keep developing these technologies. It is it is what it is, right? Tina, okay, I haven't seen her. It changes the foundations of society. I study at AI University and I'm scared um tbh why are you scared can i see the applications you talk about down below on youtube yeah if you sign up for i'll link it below as well but in general i usually link resources um for the weekly ai events and stuff so if you sign up here you'll get that directly in your inbox while i made it takes me a little bit longer to update descriptions where honestly i might forget to do that but if you sign up here definitely it's it's being emailed to you every time no spams just event notice and resources um i was alive during cold war it didn't impact regular people much and right now it's nuclear is nuclear war two because of constant nuke threats and readiness okay so really interesting because i was hearing that people were like super scared during the cold war and then children were all being like shepherded around telling them like what to do if russia decides to bomb you like something like that but then again i wasn't alive during that time so i, I couldn't say okay what about now would you say the threat is more so than it was before um oh thank you lala lala papa i study and i'm less scared see that's that's what i think that's what I think, because I think the more you understand something and you study it, the less afraid that you become because you understand how things are progressing. You at least get to make that choice about what it is you're going to do, as opposed to if you're just like not doing anything, um, then you're going to end up, you know, you're if you if you just choose to not do anything, you're going to end up hoping that whatever comes your way is going to be beneficial for you and we don't know if that's going to be the case or not right like we don't know if it actually is going to be beneficial or not so it's better to the best way to be prepared is to learn about these things and understand what is happening like keeping up with the overall trends of the industry is is really important that's also why um it's a difficult topic but i like talking about how it impacts careers and things like that because it's such a big component of people's lives and i think about that all the time it's also why i like to read a lot of papers about it um it's the same though people have different point of views most people don't understand cyber warfare i agree with you tina fear and ignorance they are the old enemies very much if ai learns from us how long until ai is mostly shit posting hit memes <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the comedic relief it already is it already is have you guys seen um okay not to like fan fan the fears but I do want to, you know, kind of show you guys something that you can check out. Like this, I would say, is the thing that terrifies me the most when I did watch it. I, I felt very scared. And I think it's kind of, it's a little bit, I don't think it's the most accurate thing. It's more so, you know how like they usually like to show you things that are, very um let me show you guys yeah they usually like to like show you things that are a little bit more kind of scary than it usually is to to get you into action which you know i think that's fair but there's like this video called like slaughterbot um oh i think it's not letting me show it but i'll i'll like link it link it below 
that is probably like one of the scariest scenarios that I can I can think of at least on that note, let's see about our ship hosting memes. <laughs> okay. I want to see, did it end up working out? Okay, yeah. I wanted to see this one, creation one. We had, I think, okay. No, this is the one that I did previously. Where, my friends, where did it go? Which one did I do it under? Oh, wait. I don't know which one that I did under. Do you guys remember? Was it creation three? Okay, I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so this is, you kind of have a character. So if you do map out to character, it's able to do things. I guess it's kind of climbing a tree. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. I think that's pretty impressive. Um, what was I going to say? I think in the future, if we map out each of us, then it would be a lot more accurate. This is what it's telling me. Like if you're generating something from scratch, like maybe it's not as good as doing it, but maybe the future is that you're taking like 3D models of yourself and then being able to use that to generate things like dancing, like walking through walking through different places, the thing that we saw earlier. Um, yeah, the thing that we saw earlier about being able to walk with this, I feel like I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Like people are going to start uploading like different versions of themselves, like different viewpoints, um, and then be able to generate these AI characters. Yeah, I think like people, it was like Kendall Jenner, these people, um, they actually sold their image and likeness to Meta so that they're able to... Um, become AI influencers and things like that. So I feel like that's probably what's gonna happen. I have a question for you guys. Like, would you would you do that? Like, would you be one of the early adopters of something like that? Or would you wait until later to do it? I have a feeling that it's gonna happen regardless. Yeah. I have a feeling it's something that's gonna happen regardless. But would you feel like you would be one of the early adopters? With something like this i need to study <laughs> same i haven't seen her it's the same though people have different point of views most people don't understand if i learned from us everyday life was normal people went to work cold war in the news i was child i was fine okay okay i need to study you're my teacher i need to study too uh, people were born to see planes go to spaceships i saw no internet to internet changing everything i think ai may be one more thing to change world but these changes may happen more in each lifetime the um development of things is definitely accelerating the amount of innovation is 100 percent accelerating over time like it took a very long time for us to figure out how to like make fire <laughs> and like print things right but now it's it's like very very quick um Sex love and technology when it goes over to effects in modern day loneliness and AI attachment as well as VR. The real offload. Early always gets more money when hired. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Early adopter. Um, Ant is gonna be an early adopter. Miles Zuck owns the metaverse. Does that mean early or late? Later adopter, in a way, yeah. The real upload. Early always gets more money when hired. Okay. You see, that's that's totally what I mean. It's like if something's gonna happen, the only choice you have is to keep up right? Like whether you're concerned, whether you're not concerned, whether you're excited, the only correct thing to do is to keep up. There is a book, if you're interested in understanding how it is to like this kind of cycle, um, it's a little bit depressing. If I'm gonna be honest, I, go, I think it's like actually depressing <laughs> because a lot of things, you know, people have to be like kind of depressing in order to trigger other people to act. But it's called the... Um, what's it called it was called like the containment problem if you're interested i think actually i don't know i forgot what it's called containment is not 
the oh sorry it's called the coming wave here's like a link if you want to check it out kind of depressing um but i do think it's trying to be as is trying to like tell you some stuff all right cool well okay we're out of time i'm gonna run and go get some food how do you guys like this kind of live stream like can you could you let me know like do you like this kind of live stream where we're just like looking at stuff together and talking about the implications and things that we can do um it's like more chill i guess than me just making a video also can you write in the chat suggestions for what we can check out in the future things that you would like to do i would play man gamble i would play around a bit but i get bored i'm not a creator so it's just for fun say but would you upload an AI version of yourself if you get a lot of, yeah, like, would you, would you do that, you think? That's what's scary. Would you ever, would you ever know what is real anymore? I'd rather own my own double. Fair. Yo, it's 2.30 a.m. here. Still, I'm here. Go to sleep. Thanks for being here, though. Appreciate it. But you should go to sleep. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living in a fake world. Okay. Does learning Python help me learn about AI? Absolutely. I actually have a video coming out about how to learn AI in 2024, although my editor's on break, so I'm going to try to edit it myself. <laughs> Hopefully it looks okay. Yeah, absolutely. Like if um, Python is, is what you should learn in terms of coding wise, absolutely. If you're going to learn AI, I think the first step of learning AI is going to be just learning how to use Python in order to use the APIs, the models that are available. And then if you want to dive deeper into these models and understanding them and even making them and fine tuning them, then you start learning more about machine learning, the maths behind it and things like that. That's how, that's the approach that I think is the best approach in terms of being able to create things and also being able to learn more deeply about stuff early adopter to be smarter than others from comfort of my computer chair in a semi-matrix-like environment <laughs> there are already do doppelgangers yes there are is python really that good though i mean it's a fairly easy language not even a true coder programmer then very much so that's probably the easiest language for you to learn um i love it okay so you like the just kind of like we chill and just talk about stuff and learn things check things out together it's my first Yes, we want more live streams. Okay. Okay. Chill. Chill. Containment. Not. That need more education, less drama streams. Okay. Fair. So something like this where we check out stuff together. Maybe would you guys like, we could like go over certain topics like career and AI, things like that. We could do that. Um, Can you recommend any channels? Uh, for books for learning about AI, I love your live streams. That's going to be in a new video. I'll, I'll link a lot of resources, I promise. Lonely Octopus. Yes, Lonely Octopus teaches AI stuff as well. Uh, be coming in January, the next cohort. Simple tricks using AI to help with general tasks. Yes, that's what I'm going to be making. Like, um, definitely I want to do a live stream on that. Like, certain things that you can do using AI and actually applying it. All right, guys. I'm going to run. Go get food. I'm hungry. Um, thank you all so much for joining. And I'll see you guys next time. Yes? Okay. Bye-bye.